The opportunity for Lightbridge really came about because of the uh, MIT 150th anniversary Festival of Art, Science and Technology. It provided a framework within which to do this large-scale installation. The river was actually one of those spaces that we really wanted the students and faculty to think about because we wanted to highlight actually the front, which is sometimes treated as the back of MIT. And so the riverfront, in fact, and the bridge became a site for installations. The concept of putting 10,000 pixels of LEDs across the whole Harbor Bridge is really, really exciting. It seemed really appropriate to choose light and a uh, display at the urban scale as an intervention for this uh, important uh, commemoration. The multicolored lights offered an opportunity to work with data on a large scale and then actually see how big that data was. So it was a really interesting way of understanding the challenges of computing. So the components of the system are uh, the LED lights themselves, the sensor chain, the uh, network infrastructure, the power infrastructure, and a diffuser system which was then connected to the lights. The installation has a kind of a complex architecture. It starts with the software that controls the lights. Each of the pixels are addressable. So we needed a software controller that would allow us to generate different patterns on the bridge. Then we have the sensing part that basically detects where pedestrians are and tries to make an image of like what is the distribution of pedestrians across the bridge and this the communication between these two models is what generates the final output. I feel like putting the lights across the bridge as we did was a really unique way to approach these types of lights. As a member of the Philips Color Kinetics team and as a product designer here I had the opportunity to help design the entire system from the light tubes uh, that were used to how the system literally rolled out. The aspect of making it interactive in such a large installation that's interactive um, is something that we typically don't do. The kind of software that the MIT students put together was dynamic at a very granular level. They were tracking people, they were, they were making lights react to, to things in the immediate vicinity. So that was, uh, was actually quite interesting to us. Smooth Light is an open source piece of software, the software that we developed for the lights. It's intended to be a fully general way for anyone with lights and sensors who wants to create some, inter some kind of interactions to make it work. It's fully uh, abstracted from the lights that you're talking to, the way that your behaviors work, what kind of inputs you have. It's designed so that anyone can just plug different pe the different pieces they have together and have a working system. The most surprising thing to me was when, when we saw it turn on and I realized how big this project actually was because writing the code I had no idea, 100 or 10,000, just an extra two digits, but on the Harvard Bridge it was just enormous. We had to have big meetings with lots of people from many different sectors, from everything from the harbor master to the state police. Because this was a celebration of MIT, it seemed that people really were excited about it, and everyone from the grounds to the Department of Transportation really wanted to make this happen. The display is 1,500 feet long. There are uh, 2,400 tubes that are each have four pixels inside of them. We had about 50 volunteers who helped us over the course of a week-long period to mount everything and dismount everything. Without them, we could never, ever have done this. For me, the hardest part of making Smooth Light work was probably balancing Smooth Light and my MIT career because Smooth Light, especially in the last couple of weeks, became very uh, demanding of my time. So it was difficult to uh, find enough hours in the day to make it all happen. But everything worked out. The lights were awesome, and uh, I didn't fail out at MIT. Uh, never before I had the, I had had the chance to work on such a big installation and had a uh, that had an impact on such a visible landmark in the city. It was a very tangible project. Got to work with the team. Um, there's a mix of uh, interfacing with both hardware and software people, and there is there's a definite conclusion. Lightbridge was a way to see on a huge scale how programmable light in a strategic location can transform an urban place and delight people and at the same time make a commentary on the movements and the pulse and the activity of the city.